Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about new feature in Maya 2017 called Randa Sequence. Stay tuned. If you want Maya 2017 full version free, click the button to view the tutorial. Ok, in Maya 2017 we have new option called render sequence. It will be available in rendering, render, here we have render sequence. So it's really helpful before we take batch, final batch render, you want to check your render using render sequence. So it's really helpful when you working on complex scenes. So it's like a test render. Here is an example. I have simple scene setup over here. So with two area light setup. So I will animate my camera. So I will animate my perspective camera up to 30 frames. So before we uh, set our render sequence, you want to set your render settings. Go to render settings. In common tab, I want to choose my frame slash animation. So it's normally set to single frame. So it's a multiple frame render. So I will choose name underscore as dot ext. And I want to set my frame range. So from 1 to 30. So after that, I will choose my renderable camera. So if you have your, you will set any camera you want to choose that one so I will animate my perspective camera so I will choose my perspective so this is a test render so I will choose my image size very low 640 into 480 so like that and close so go to render and choose render sequence option box don't select this one you want to choose option box so here it will shows render sequence up to 1 to 30 frames here we have a lot of options so if you have multiple uh, render layers you want to check tick this one so I have only one layers to render so I will uncheck this one if you have multiple cameras check this one so I have only animate perspective camera so I will uncheck this one if you want render particular region you want to check this one so I want to render whole frame so I will uncheck this one so here this one is the weaving option so you want to check all these things on and then click render sequence and close so that means it will start rendering over here so it will take some time so I will pause my video and come back again ok it's completed so see here, here we have scroll option. So I will click and drag. So that means our entire sequence will be shown up. So it's really helpful when you working on huge scenes. So it's like a test render. Before we take batch render, you will check with our render sequence. It's really helpful. It's new option only available in Maya 2017. So that's it and click here to watch good and bad news about Maya 2017 and click here to watch the tutorial of top 10 new features found in Maya 2017. Click subscribe button to subscribe my youtube channel for more Maya 2017 tutorials and also check my youtube channel there is lot of course offer for you for modeling, texturing, lighting, rendering, animation, rigging, dynamics and BFX projects.